What's up creators? It's your boy, Mad Mike. And today, I'm making my way down to the city to get a new part for the Ferrari kick car. So stay tuned, check it out. Eww. All right guys, so I'm just making my way down to the city right now. I'm gonna head down to Vancouver in Canada, British Columbia to pick up the new part for the Ferrari kit car. The shop I'm going to, I don't know if the guy's gonna let me film inside there or not, but I'd love to film the car that this uh, part came off of because I know you guys would really dig that. So hopefully when I get down there, the guy lets me film the car and uh, if that's a possibility, then I'll show you guys that content. So stay tuned. April 4th, Vancouver, BC, and it's snowing. That is crazy. Check that out, guys. Carbon fiber, 69 inch wing. Gonna go ahead and do chassis mount brackets for it, but down here in Vancouver. And uh, this came off a of Lamborghini Gallardo. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film the car, but the owner was nice enough to show me the car and he had a pretty wild twin turbo Porsche as well. So yeah. Comment below, what do you guys think? Chassis mount wing, carbon fiber, that's gonna look sick. Check that out, boys. 400 bucks, the guy was asking 450. Talked him down to 400. It's a carbon fiber NRG slash Jap Speed, I think they're called. I looked them up online. You can pick these up for like 500 US, but 400 bucks for a carbon chassis mount wing. I think that's a pretty good deal. thing is gonna look so sick so you can see on the back edge here when it was mounted on the Lamborghini the guys painted it black but on these back edges here you can see the carbon fiber bleeding through so I think what I'm gonna do is sand down the entire wing so I can reveal all the carbon fiber and then just re-clear it What's up guys we are back from the city we have the spoiler i just went ahead and pulled out the 1985 pontiac fiero ferrari kick car project that i'm working on let's go ahead grab the carbon fiber wing kind of rest it on the trunk and then we'll probably grab a couple saw horses set it up a little bit farther behind that way i can get a visual of how it's going to look if i go ahead and do a chassis mount wing so let's go ahead grab the wing mount it on the car see how it looks Alright guys, so I just temporarily mounted the wing onto the back of the trunk. It's not going to be where it's going to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate up some mounts. That way I can mount the wing via chassis mount and the wing will sit further back. That way I can still lift up my engine cover. But just resting on the trunk, that gives you a visual of 
what it's gonna look like. Gives you a good idea of how the wing's gonna look. It's gonna sit back about a foot, foot and a half from its current location. But I think that is gonna look wicked. So what I'm gonna do now is grab my probably stools or my sawhorses, a little workbench. I'm gonna mount the wing onto that just to get a visual of how I'm gonna do the mounts. And if I have some cardboard or some plywood, I'll go ahead and cut out some temporary mounts and figure out what I wanna do for a shape. So I just went ahead and pulled the measurement to where the wing is now to where I want it to be, which is back this way here and down a little bit. So I got a measurement of 28 inches. I'll just see what I got kicking around here. I got a little sawhorse here. I'll pull this out. Maybe that'll give me the height I need or some buckets. So now that I got my measurement, let's go ahead and just grab something that I can rest the wing on and get a visual of how the wing is gonna look when it's in the chassis mount position. Let's hope the wing stays there and doesn't fall off. That's basically gonna be the new position of where the wing's gonna be. So now I just gotta figure out how I wanna fabricate up some brackets to hold it in that position. Basically what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to make sure that I can still open up my engine cover uh, so it doesn't hit the wing and I'm just seeing if I kind of like the position. It looked okay sitting on the engine cover but it kind of makes the car look a little bit too short. If I do a chassis mount wing I think it's going to extend the car and make it look a little bit more like a GT race car. So you can see what I mean by just giving it enough room from the engine cover so I can still access to the engine when need be. Uh, the other option is to do some kind of a slip pin on the brackets so I can drop the wing down and I can stand inside there and reach into the motor a little bit easier. But location wise, I think that's what we're gonna go with. I think we're gonna go with the chassis mount instead of mounting it directly to the engine cover. went ahead and grabbed some random stools, random blocks of wood, and I moved the whole wing down about another three inches from where I first had it. So let's go to the side view and get a visual of how that's looking. I don't want to have this big, stupid looking wing on the back of this car. I want it to really kind of fit in with the whole theme that I'm going to go with with the car. But now that I'm going with the chassis mount wing guys, that means that we're going to go crazy with the rest of the car. Originally, I was going to go red and try to make it look like an authentic Koenig Ferrari kit car, but I don't really want to replicate that. I want to go full like Need for Speed, Gran Turismo, Fast and Furious with this car. I want to put a big wing on it, do a crazy paint scheme with a crazy livery, kind of come up with a really wild, you know, mad creative wrap for it. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to leave a comment below on what I should do for paint and for wrap. But for now, let's go around, get a side view and see how this wing looks at this new height. Now these mounts, I'm probably not gonna go ahead and use. They are carbon fiber that have been painted just like the wing is, as you can see there, carbon weave. So I'm gonna go ahead and potentially keep these. I'm just gonna go ahead and fabricate up some brand new brackets that attach from here all the way down into the bottom of the chassis. So that looks a lot better. I think it could definitely come up a good Two inches though. Yeah, that's too low. Hmm. Let's move it 
back and we'll move it up another two inches. is now at 27 and a half inches so i raised it up a good inch and a half uh, that made a huge difference i'm just going to keep monkeying around with different heights to see what looks best but let me know what you guys think should i have it sit up higher or should i have it sit down lower hmm kind of happy with that 27 and a half inches Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like the chassis mount wing. If you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. A ciao, ciao.